Hey guys, welcome back to Not Your Mama's MLM Podcast. This is Leah Moore, your host. I'm super excited that you're back to talk with me today. Um, I have just been up a creek, dude. It has been one of those weeks that I can't seem to control my schedule, <laughs> which is obviously one of the reasons why I chose to be an MLM to begin with. I wanted to be in full control of my schedule. But just like many of you right now who are struggling to balance a job and balance everything else in your life on top of your MLM, um, I'm feeling the full brunt of that this week. So for many of you guys know, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm a homeschool mom. And I really, truly enjoy being a homeschool mom and have homeschooled my son since we started school and have loved every minute of it. Now, I, you know, it's not all cupcakes and unicorns. We do have our moments of, of frustration and stress and screaming and yelling and crying and pleading and begging, but I still really enjoy the process of sharing the education process. One of the major reasons I love one of the communities that we're a part of is that we talk about it every single year, but it's really just kind of reclaiming our own education every time that we're teaching our own kids. And I love that fact. And for me, I'm kind of a lazy homeschool parent or a lazy teacher because I don't pressure. I like to get things done, but I'm, I also don't do things in redundancy. Once you've, you know, showed me that you've mastered the process, I'm good to go. And that's kind of my MO with life. It's kind of how I work with my team. It's kind of how I work with most things in life that I do. But as I said, you know, balancing the homeschool has been really challenging this week. Uh, Fortunately for me, my mom is able to be very active in a part of our lives. And she's been actually able to step up and into the role of being that homeschool transporter because we are a part of two different communities. One, which is about 45 minutes away from our house. And we drive to that one two days a week. So she's been doing a lot of the pickup, the send drop-offs for my son. And then also we have one that happens to be today, which actually I have not been to a single one of them since the beginning of the year. Um, at all. And here we are uh, a month into school. We're on, I think, week five, and I have yet to actually make it to one of the classes because I'm, again, off to work. Like I said, balancing out uh, the IT work that I do as well. So I'm actually in the process of going to a project right now, but I wanted to jump in because I totally get that struggle because the other thing that I'm, I'm working on right now is launching a uh, a webinar for our new, um, for our team, for our new, our new direction, uh, with uh, the addition of product lines to our company, it was kind of a challenge for me to wrap my head around how we were going to actually approach this. Because, you know, as we know in marketing, we're looking for a bloody red market, but we are have to click create our own red ocean out of it, right? So we have the blue ocean and the red ocean. And the red ocean is is super bloody. There's so much competition in it. There's everybody's fighting for a piece of the pie. And since our company isn't coming in as number one, the very first person in the market, we are entering a bloody red market. So my challenge was to figure out what does it mean and how do we get from being in a bloody red market? How do we differentiate ourselves as a team? How do we differentiate how we offer this new product to our customers, our current customer base, but also to attract new customers um, with this concept of being a bloody red market. So we've been tossing around some ideas um, and and really kind of playing around with the concept of of overall holistic approach to the industry that we're in and taking the two pieces of the puzzle that we have and being able to plug them in for people and allowing them to be able to create a full routine, a full system, a full holistic care to, um, you know, self-care essentially in what they're doing. And so we've been working on a webinar. I've been very heavily working on that. I busted out one in about a week. I think I got, I think I 
talked about that one a couple weeks ago when I did finally get on here. I busted that one out in about a week and it was okay, but I knew that there was a lot of tweaking and testing and refinement to it that I wanted to do. There were elements that I knew that I needed to pull in, some testimonies as well as some facts and figures and numbers, um, as well as stories. You know, guys, stories are so important and part of those stories couldn't come until actually we had some uh, some results from our clients that are, are currently using it, some of our other customers and our other partners who are using the products, we needed to have some of those stories to be able to share with people. So, so it's been a two week, it's now three week process and I'm actually supposed to be doing and delivering that webinar tonight. And of course, things don't always go as planned. So we had to readjust and we're going to do that tomorrow, which I'm super excited about. And I still need to put some finishing touches and finessing on it. There's, but even still where it's at, I'm not really a hundred percent happy with what what we have, what I have to deliver. It hasn't sat with me exactly the way I want it to before I actually present it to other people. But if I haven't, if I haven't learned anything else um, in all of my years of marketing and all of my years of online, um, and all of my years of learning from different people that are in the industry, big marketers, small marketers, big wig entrepreneurs, small entrepreneurs, is that done is better than perfect, right? I, I have this perfectionism in me and always have, because as I told you guys, I'm an A student living in a C student world. I have this level of perfectionism. I have this level of, of desire of expectation of how things should and should not be done. And that polishness is something that I've struggled with my entire life to make sure that I can deliver. But the thing is, is that I can sit on my hands for the rest of my life trying to refine this. But unless I put something and test it in the marketplace, how will I ever know if it's actually reaching the audience that I'm seeking? So I've had to, and I still wrestle with this all the time. I'm wrestling with it right now since I, I'm still in the process, like I told you, of getting this webinar ready to go to actually release the baby, you know, let it go and put it out there in the world. And it may not be perfect, but it's okay. It doesn't have to be perfect. Done is better than perfect because perfect is really unachievable. It's actually an unattainable goal. There's nothing on the face of the planet that it will ever be perfect. There is not a perfect pedal. There is not a perfect face. There is not a perfect hair. There's not a perfect uh, body size. There's nothing on the face of the planet that is perfect. So why do I struggle to attain something that is unattainable? Good question. I'm sure there's a, I'm sure if you're on this podcast, there's probably a few of you who struggle with the exact same question. Why are you struggling to get to, to that perfection level? There is no such thing. But being done and getting the, the framework done, getting the structure built, and then putting and plugging in some details is good enough. And sometimes you just have to let it go. Sometimes you have to just say, hey, you know what? I just have to let this go. I have to put it out and see. After I get responses, if I'm not getting the responses that I want, then I know that I need to go back and I need to tweak and I need to test it a little bit more. If I'm getting phenomenal results, awesome. Then I know that I've, I've hit a mark. I've, hit a, I've struck a chord. I'm actually doing what I'm looking for. But I'm never going to know that until I put it out there in the world. So I'm super excited about this webinar. Uh, I'm calling it a web class right now. I don't know. I'm not really sure which terminology I want to work with. I mean, it's a webinar. It's a presentation. I know in the ClickFunnel world, we're talking about going into presentations versus webinars. So the presentation funnel is, is what we're creating. But some of the really cool stuff that I've created behind the scenes, which I'm excited about and, and testing on myself at the same time. And so it's actually kind of nice that I am not actually delivering this evening is that I've been able to test out and play with some chat bots a little bit more and setting up a pre-webinar um, pre-framing for the entire system. So I really should talk about that one on a whole nother podcast and I'm, I'm still tweaking and testing that one too, but I, I've actually gotten pretty excited about it um, just in seeing it pop up in my own feed every single day. <laughs> 
uh, to see the, all the things that are going on. So I will definitely share that one with you guys here in just a little bit. But really what I wanted to get on here today and talk about, obviously, is in balancing life, yes, we have a lot of things to balance. And because of that, not everything can be as perfect as we want it to be because we just don't have all the time in the world. We all have the same 24 hours, and it's basically what we do with them. And when we're ready to be done with something, to let it go, to release it. So not trying to attain perfection in 24 hours all the time, because honestly, you're going to spin yourself out and you're going to burn yourself out, which is basically what I've done so much to myself um, that I am actually sitting here laughing because I know that that's part of my problem. And I know that that's something I have to let go of. So I, I'm encouraging you to join me on the bandwagon <laughs> of letting go of perfectionism. Maybe we should make that a challenge, letting go of perfectionism challenge. But guys, um, I will bring you guys more information about the chatbot pre-framing that we're creating and also the post follow-up with that we're going to be doing with the chatbots and how that's all working here in uh, probably the next episode. So I'm, I do a lot of batching when I do content because usually when I'm talking about something, another idea will spark and I'm like, oh, you know what? I need to talk about that one. So then I'll just set, set my time and I'll do that one as a separate podcast right after that. So any guys, um, I hope that you guys are enjoying these and that you're getting some value out of the information that we've been delivering here on the podcast. Um, I should say I, because I am a one woman team. I don't have, you know, an, uh, a long, a big, long, hefty support team that gets all these things out there for you. But it is actually something I enjoy doing, and that's the reason why I'm hoping you guys are getting some value out of it. And if you are, I would love to hear from you. Go on Stitcher, go on iTunes, go on Anchor, go on, um, what am I at, iHeartRadio now. Go on any of those and leave a review. Whether it's good or bad, just feedback is great, guys. I love hearing from you and, and seeing where I can be more of value and where I can bring more value to you in the audience. Um, also, as you guys know, we are in the middle of the next MLM challenge for OFA for the one funnel away challenge. As you guys know, it is probably the, the best starting point. If you want to take your business online, if you want to take your MLM business online, being a part of this challenge is definitely a no brainer. Not only are you learning from some of the top marketers, internet marketers, funnel builders, um, just mastermind offer creation masters in the world but we also then have a support group designed specifically for those in the MLM space to actually wrap your brain around exactly what these men are saying. Because sometimes when you're, you're learning from people who are talking to a mass audience, it doesn't directly respond or correspond to one-on-one -on -one with MLM and what we are and what we can't do because a lot of things we aren't able to do when you don't control the card. So the really great thing is we've created the support group and I, and I become your fourth coach essentially. And it's one of the delights that I have. So I would love to bribe you to go over to the, um, leahmore.com forward slash MLM dash OFA dash challenge. Check out the bribes that I have there for you. Uh, because yes, of course we are, are talking about offers. I would love you to go ahead and grab the offer buy through my link and you get some of those offers mailed right to you. I'm super excited about that too, guys. So uh, if you haven't had a chance, go ahead and do that. Always rate and review and I will talk to y'all soon. Hope you guys are getting value out of this. Bye.